Hey guys, welcome back. So tonight we got a Husky power washer with a Kohler Courage XT7 engine. Um, so this wasn't that much. I think I spent 40 bucks on it. Usually I don't buy power washers, and I mean, quite honestly, I probably spent $40 too much on it. You know, it was sold as is. Um, supposedly the engine's good. Uh, but the water pump is blown out. Literally blown out. It looks like there used to be a, a, a bolt there. Kind of like on that side, but that's also cracked, so. Anyway, before starting the engine, I really want to get that pump off of there. Um, so that thing's just going to throw shrapnel everywhere if I try to start it now. So let's get that pump off and uh, see what we're dealing with as far as the engine goes and then make a decision uh, at that point as far as how to proceed. Okay, so I've never tried removing one of these before, but I'm hoping it's as simple as removing uh, the three bolts and pulling this thing off. So uh, let's get those bolts out and see what happens. Okay, actually, that those bolts are holding the engine on, as well as this housing. So I need to flip this engine back up and to do it without you guys watching. Kind of curious here just to see what the carnage looks like in its full glory. Yeah. Yep, that's... That's a lot of pieces. I'm guessing it was dropped. If it was frozen, I would have expected to see more damage on the bottom half, although it is thicker, I guess, down here. Anyway, whatever happened to it, it's dead now, so into the trash pile for that pump. Yep, so I'm just going to re-secure this engine before uh, I bring it outside and try starting it. Okay, so getting that pump off was actually quite easy. Um, you know, if anyone's ever looking for a cheap engine, power washers are the way to go. You know, there's a lot of power washers online with broken pumps. And a lot of times, you know, people just don't want to spend the money to fix it. I mean, even if you're going to fix it yourself, it's still at least $60 for a new pump um, if you can find one at all. And if you're going to bring it somewhere and pay someone to do it, you know, it's probably going to be twice that, at least. And then you might as well just buy a new one. So, um, anyway, pump came off very easily. So I'm going to bring this outside, uh, see what the engine does or does not do, and uh, go from there. All right, we'll try this one-handed. Yeah, not a working engine, so 
guessing that carb is a mess, so uh, check for spark and then pull this thing apart and give it a cleaning. Okay, got spark. All right, so let's get this carburetor off the supposed working Kohler and see uh, why it's not working. So I'm guessing by the rust on the bottom that there was probably a little bit of water down there. I was actually kind of surprised to see uh, gas in the bowl. You know, the engine would not start or cough or do anything. So either there was water in the bottom of that bowl or potentially this jet is clogged, the main jet. Yeah, not clogged. Then this one does have a pilot jet up here. I mean, the pressure washer only runs at full speed. So um, the pilot jet though is still important because it's always contributing some fuel. So if the pilot jet was clogged, you know, at full speed, it's gonna be running lean and potentially surging. Yeah, so overall, this, this should have run. Um, 
you know, my only guess is that there was some water maybe right in the very bottom, which would have prevented any gas from getting sucked in. Um, otherwise, I think actually if I put this together right now, without doing anything else, I would think it should run. Yeah, there's nothing clogged here. Um, I'll give it a quick bath since I have it apart and uh, put it back together and see if, it, uh, if it'll run. Okay, so it cleaned up pretty well. So um, let's get this thing back together and see if it, the engine runs. Okay, and this is the pilot jet. Gotta line it up just right so it'll snap down. Okay, good. And this is the idle screw. Um, since this machine only runs at one speed, it's not really that important where it's set, other than it's not set too far out. So there it's just coming through, that should be fine. And now for the needle and float. Just gonna blow through it upside down, make sure it doesn't leak. Good. And then this way you should hear the air coming through. Okay, good. All right, let's try it out. All right, let's fire it up.
Okay, so I think it was just over revving a little bit. Um, and the governor was kicking in and just kind of causing that oscillation. You know, when I slowed the engine down, it ran very well. Um, so I ended up just bending this tab a little bit down to back off the RPMs a bit. And that pretty much stabilized it. Um, I'm not sure if it was that that did it or just running the engine and letting it warm up. Either way, you know, the engine is good. Um, you know, I, I did look a little bit more online about getting another pump. And if that's all I needed, I would probably go ahead and do that. It was like $62, $63. Uh, got $40 into it. You know, could probably sell it for $150. But it's missing, you know, the wand, all the uh, sprayer nozzles, the hose. And that's like another $55. So there's really nothing in it to bring this back to 100%. So I'm going to try to just sell the engine as is. And if, uh, if that doesn't work, then yeah, maybe I'll revisit this. But for now, I think we're good. Thanks for watching.